Yo. Mm. My guy. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? Um, so I was asked to make a uh, a macro video and like an opening rotation guide. Um, so yeah, dude, let's let's get right into it, man. Um, so we'll go over my macros first. Okay. This vanish macro is actually super beneficial, okay? Because when you try and vanish, if you are not in combat and if you try to vanish, it will not let you, right? So shift four, which is my vanish, this macro right here, I'm spamming it. You see me, I'm spamming vanish, right? And it's just not letting me, right? because it automatically makes me stealth, right? That is super huge because let's say you at like randomly drop combat for a second and you could have stealthed instead of vanishing and you would have saved the cooldown. Definitely recommend using this macro right here, right? Um, I made a new shadow step kidney uh, macro. So let's say you're sitting at a node or something and or like uh at lava or whatever and you have a buddy sitting in the cart and you think a rogue is going to instantly cheap shot him you can be spamming this macro and it's going to instantly target him shout set mark for death kidney within like just milliseconds of the enemy rogue like cheap shotting uh your your buddy you know, super beneficial. And the same thing with the uh, cheap shot. I the same. I made the same thing for a cheap shot. Um, my sap macro macro. It's just clear target target enemy player and sap. So I'm just spamming sap. Um, and usually it can get people. Dude, when I don't know, man. I have a really hard time finding people out of stealth, anyways. And when I do, like it just doesn't want to work. It says invalid target or stuff like that because I came across a rogue the other day where he had crossed my path and I was literally spamming my sap macro and it didn't sap him like instantly. So I'm not too sure if this macro is a move or what, um, but I mean it's what I use. So um, this stealth macro is what I use to get in stealth. Um, because I don't know why, but if you have Shadow Dance active and you're out of combat, you can't stealth immediately. And that, that can mess some of you guys up. So I actually, there's a macro that I got from Evasion X. He's another rogue YouTuber that gives a lot of tips. Um, that it'll cancel your dance. It'll get rid of it. And it'll allow you, it'll allow you to, uh, to stealth. Um, I have some pretty basic, you know, at focus blinds, at focus saps, uh, at focus step, and I think there's a kick one too. Yeah, so I have that as well. Um, but other than that, oh, and I have macro my symbols of death with my trinket because it does like a lot of damage together, I think. Um, but other than that, those are the only macros that I use uh, personally that I find beneficial. What is this? Oh, so actually I have my macro, I have a uh, file of serenity and my hellstone macro together. Um, Cause I think those are two huge hellstones or health options that you can use when you're in a BG. And when I use them, like I go from like, let's say I'm at like 20% and I need a big heal. I'll use that macro and it'll heal me up from like 20% to like 70%. It, it's massive. Um, getting into my rotation, man. My rotation is the same no matter what. Okay, it does like the most amount of damage every single time. Okay, and I'm gonna type it out. I'm gonna type it out so that you have it. Uh, you can, you, you know, pause the video. You can type it out yourself. Um, so I don't, cause I'm not gonna do the rotation, right? I'm just gonna type out exactly what I do, and you can go to like another video and you can see exactly what I'm doing every single time, right? So first off, I'm gonna stealth, right? I'm always in stealth. Um, maybe hit him with a, a sap. Okay. I'm going to have cold blood active. Okay. Which gives me my 10%. 
Um, if I decide to use Shadow Blades, this is the time to use it. So I'll use Shadow Blades um, with Orc Racial because increased damage. Okay. And then I'll go Cheap Shot, Dance, Symbols, Slash on Use, Kieran Ability. We'll do Echo because I don't know how to spell Kieran. Echoing Rep, Eviscerate, MFD. Eviscerate. And by then, man, I'm not even kidding, they're going to be dead. Um, if they're not dead, you can cheap shot, shadow strike, evis, cheap shot. That's it right there, dude. That is it. Um, and that rotation will just pump so much damage into them, like 100% of the time. Um, another thing, if you guys are having trouble doing damage, even with like, you, even if you perfect, perfect that rotation, right? Um, Waz, like the rank one EU rogue, probably like the rank one rogue in the world, right? He he said the other day that, or somebody on his stream had asked him like, hey, why aren't you using the Vanish Legendary? Vanish Legendary being this one where it resets your cooldown. And he had mentioned that after so many rogue nerfs, man, um, he thinks like this is the only one viable because without it, it, he just feels like he does no damage whatsoever. Um, so maybe that's why some of you guys aren't doing damage. Maybe you guys don't have this. If you guys do have this, um, you're probably doing the rotation wrong, okay? Um, by the time you get to the second cheap shot, right, there's going to be like... 0.1 second of your cheap shot left on the initial unless they have like orc racial or relentless or the reduced stun right if they don't have any of that you should be able to get your next cheap shot off with this entire rotation without the first cheap shot breaking like they shouldn't they shouldn't be able to get anything in in between your cheap shots if you're fast enough um sometimes um, I, I teach a couple rogues, right? And sometimes they gap their stun, and so I'm able to blind like within that um, stuff like that. If if you notice that your cheap shot is running out before you're able to get your second cheap shot, um, I would eviscerate, cheap shot, shout strike, eviscerate, and then maybe like cheap shot again, mark for death, eviscerate, right? So let me type that out. So you'll do your first cheap shot. Right, and let's say they have like relentless or something. Your first cheap shot, then your dance, symbols, uh, slash on use, echo rep, because that does a lot of damage with symbols. You're gonna eviscerate, uh, cheap shot, shadow strike, eviscerate, cheap shot, mark for death, eviscerate. So that's if they have like Relentless or any stun duration reducing, right? Because you don't want to gap your stun because then they can do something in between. Um, when you personally get opened on, I find it sometimes beneficial to just mark for death kidney them, right? And then just pop blades and everything into my rotation. And literally you're doing the same exact rotation as this. So I'm going to dance, I'm going to cold blood, I'm going to shadow blade, symbols, um, Kieran ability, eviscerate, mark for death, eviscerate, all that shadow strike, eviscerate. Like, you can get so many eviscerates off within a mark for death kidney if you get opened on. Um, I don't really find it that beneficial when I get opened on and I cheap shot, so I just throw out the mark for death kidney right away. And usually, I can pump out a lot of damage um, within that kidney shot. Um, when your kidney shot is about to fall and your target isn't dead yet, don't try and kill him with an eviscerate if the kidney is about to fall. Just hold your kidney or hold your eviscerate, cheap shot, then send the eviscerate um, to just secure the kill while he's stunned, right? Because at that last tick of kidney, if you send the eviscerate and he doesn't die, well, then he can blind you, he can reset. Um, so many different things can happen um, when you're trying to get a kill or trying to cap a base or anything like that. But yeah, man, that's my rotation that I use. And 
yeah, let me know if you guys have any other questions. And yeah, hope you guys had a good day. Thank you.